let's graph y equals negative 2x plus 1. This is a line in y equals mx plus b form. And that means we can read the b directly from the equation. That's the y-intercept, and it's positive 1. So along the y-axis, that's the up-down axis, I want you to find 1, which for me is here between 0 and 2, and put a dot there. That's like the starting point for our line. Then I want you to look at what's in front of x. We have an m, or slope of negative 2. Now as a fraction, we're going to write that negative 2 divided by 1, because dividing by 1 doesn't actually change what that number is. And the reason I like writing it as a fraction is because that emphasizes that there is both a rise and a run. The rise of negative 2, to me, tells me we're going to go down 2 units, or down 2 boxes. And we're going to go right by 1. I should say the run of 1, positive 1, means we're going to go to the right. Okay, down 2, right 1. That's the pattern. So from this dot that we've already put there, down 2, right 1, 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 until you run out of space or quit. You can probably see that if you wanted to put some dots on the other side here, instead of going down and right, you'd be going up and left. So let's do that as well. Up and left up to left one, up to left one, up to left one. And you'll know you've done it all right as long as all the points lie along a straight line. This ruler shows me that yes, they do. So let's celebrate by drawing a line through them, putting arrows on both sides to show that it goes infinitely in both directions. And then we can celebrate. We're done. Thank you for being with me and best of luck.